Welcome wrestling fans and random viewers for different types of media and or outlets to the WWE Elder Cell 2014 edition of my Magical Mystery Pay-Per-View Prediction with the help of my assistant, sign guy Andy, uh, and hosted by me, the Wrestling Shuffler, your favorite wrestling YouTube circus magician, probably the only one you know. Now, um, basically what this video is, is with the help of this soul want and the wreck on the the table floor thingy, I'm gonna put out random objects to let you know I, how are my feelings about WWE on the sale 2014 and the matches as you see right here. Holded by my sign guy Andy, um, they let you know how I feel, you know. So, without any further ado, the first match I'm gonna cover is is the 2003 Falls match in WWE Intercontinental Championship, with the champion here, Dolph Ziggler, Spaghetti Hair Ziggler, against Antonio Cesaro. Yeah, I still call Antonio Cesaro. Wanna know my thoughts about this? Let's spin in the one! A bracket! <laughs> Let's see what's under this, baby! A violin! Well, um, you can say that it's gonna be a broken violin this match. Same old tune with sour notes and music. In normal wrestling language folk means is that uh, I don't have that much of interest uh, with seeing Dolph Ziggler against Antonio Cesaro. I know it's gonna be a good match, but it's gonna be uh, two out of three fall this kids could be very good. Uh, but I feel it's uh, all the same tune, all the same violin stuff, you know? Uh, it's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, uh, Dolph Ziggler, Antonio Cesaro, it's gonna be a random match. What my feelings are the winner are. Um, I'm not seeing Antonio Cesaro win this, um, this match. I'm feeling Dolph Ziggler, Spaghetti Hair Ziggler is gonna win. And without the miss, he's gonna have a non-relevant title reign. I hope I'm wrong. I wish I could play this violin better though. <laughs> You know how to play, Handy? So now we have uh, the Tag Team Championship match with the Dust Brothers as champions against... You're so crazy. Now I'm gonna spin it this SWAT and you're gonna know I'm talking about in this match. What's on? And uh, this wreck. Yes, my wallet. According to my magic, the Dustbusters uh, or Dust Brothers against the Usos are gonna be a waste of my freaking wallet time because the Usos are not boring but repetitive to me. Uh, the Dust Brothers are cute and all, but uh, I f feel I've seen the same match over and 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 over again. So, for my money, um, it's gonna be a waste of money and 9.99. I don't know what the equivalent is to arrows, but anyway, it's gonna be a waste of my freaking money watching or lack of money, or anyone's money, um, watching this match. Uh, what I might thoughts got about this, it's gonna be uh, just a normal match, a normal solid match, with the winner being, uh, I guess, the Dust, Bro uh, the Dust Brothers will win it. That's all, but I don't think it's gonna be that exciting to see. Just, you know, your average uh, TV tag team match. I could be wrong, though. Oh, you disagree, Mandy? Well, your contract is not out, so skip the next match, you freaking bastard! In the tag, uh, Divas uh, Championship match with the champion Angelia against Paige. Uh, I'm gonna swing it, this old one, 
and give you what I think with if you believe in magic well, let's find out what I'm going to pull under this one. It's all an illusion, you say. Ha. Okay, then. Let's see what I put over this rack. What the hell? Oh, is is this what I think? Ah, ma. Oh, man. Me and my freaking lousy magic um to keep it short and sweet this is about to be a little dirty to watch uh, from the do from the dose to i figured it's gonna be in this golf uh, or that maybe hle is gonna retain the time because in the next match and cut in the next match Ooh, damn man. oh boy the entertainment industry is a really dirty business uh, anyway, in this match, we have Big Show against Rusev Crash in a singles match in Hell in a Cell. Let's bring out the magic prediction that I have for this one, the magical mystery prediction. That's the stuff. Don't laugh at me, Andy. You're forbidden to. So let's see what I got for you. Uh, this is a CD to core sound to speak, uh, a Chinese, Russia, or a Chinese Mandarin a language from the Oriental Asia country. Uh, this could probably be uh, a whole hell of a lot used to, to Rusev and Lana because I don't feel they speak Russian that correctly. I'm not Russian, so what I would know. But uh, the winner is probably the person who pretends. Damn the sign! Hold up the sign. Uh, probably the winner is gonna be the guy who pretends doesn't speak English. Yes, you guessed it. It's Rusev. Uh, Rusev until John Cena decides to take his turn with him is probably be undefeated. Now, in my personal view, big show against Rusev. Shut up, Andy. Uh, it's not. It's a bit stupid because uh, how can I believe in a face like Big Show that's much taller and much stronger, much fatter uh, than Rusev, than little old Russian Taz midget Rusev? I mean, it's a bit stupid. I mean, you know the dynamics of the match. Um, but anyway, I'll further that rant in a Pictionary type of thingy uh, this week, probably, or still this weekend. But uh, yeah, Rusev, until John Cena maybe arrives, he's gonna win the match. The guy who doesn't freaking know how to talk Russia properly and should listen to this kind of CDs is gonna win it. Oh, you know how to talk Russian? Uh, Russian Andy? You wanna share with me? You dirty cop. So in this match, we have the United States Championship match with Shamas Fella against the reality now movie star Thomas. What am I all my thoughts about it? Let's spin in the one. Don't say anything, Andy, or we're gonna be fire. Okay, let's see what's on this baby. A uh, Robbie Williams best of DVD. Well, that means will this be a Miz movie? So probably with this means that somewhat. Uh, I believe that I would like to see The Miz winning against Sheamus. The Miz is a freaking awesome character. It's a pretty underrated eel and pretty underrated character in performing in the WWE. Many people say, oh, he sucks or whatnot and all that type of bullshit. But I feel that The Miz is a whole hell of a lot of anything. And the thing that most people say, I'm a Miz fan and I'm not ashamed to say it. Hoorah! Hoorah! So for my money, uh, the shit. Miss becomes the United States Champion again. Oh yeah! No, I'm not corny, Andy! Now stick to the next match! Okay then! 
so now to for all great pay-per-views we need to have bathroom breaks bathroom breaks yeah yeah, i said and for that we had the now not so interesting feud with nikki bella against brie bell in the loser has to become the winner's personal assistant for a month match Ooh, how scary now let's wave in the one so, yeah, I know there's a lot of budgets. To let you know how I feel. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty repetitive. Let's see what's in this. Oh, yeah. God save the queen that I needed that. Uh, with this soap here, probably means I'm going to need to wash to wash off my hands and myself after seeing this match because it's going to stink out the joint. But uh, what I feel is uh, probably Bree is going to be the loser in this one. But uh, who knows and who cares. Oh yeah, I needed a <laughs> mom. Oh man, I feel so dirty. My mom is that for you, Andy. So shut up. Next match. Oh yeah. And this all oh, so fantastically non predictable match with John Cena against Randy Orton, Hell in a Cell, number one contenders, WWE World Championship match. Oh, who's gonna come out this one? I'm gonna roll in DC1 so that you know, find out. Ooh, so unpredictable, best rivalry in history. Yeah, I was being sarcastic, Andy. Okay, so let's see what's under this. Wreck. You see this? This is my watch, Andy. This is my freaking watch. You know what it says? It says this is a match that's gonna be a freaking waste of our valuable time. I don't care who wins between John Cena and Randy Orton. Because as far as I'm concerned, we are the fans that lose in this match. <sighs> So last we have the real main event on the cell match. The lunatic Francine Ambrose against sellout Triple H, buddy boy, Seth Rollins. What's my prediction? Let's bring in the one. Abracadabra. So let's find out what center is. Yeah, I already seen the pinky thing. So let's do it. Yay! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Don't look for me, Auntie. You dropped the sign, you bastard. You dropped the sign. Oh, God, you dropped the sign. Either way, keep the sign up or you'll lose your freaking job. And my mom ain't paying for your meals anymore, Andy. Uh, so, this is gonna be the type of birthday present that not me, but not only me, excuse me, but. Oh, damn! Uh, get your present up. Okay, shut up, you watch thingy. Okay. There we go. If you s lose again, Andy, I'll beat the crap out of you. Okay. Uh, so, this is a moment we all been waiting for, in some capacity or another. Team Ambrose. Whoops. I mean, uh, uh, damn you, Cena is on in the spotlight. Team Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Two of the angriest tigers we ever saw in WWE recent history. Since the moment they debuted in the Shield, they now pitch punching and stealing and uh, showcasing every single sweat of their talent in single stars. And. The chance we get Team Ambrose with Seth Rollins in an Hell in a Cell match is freaking huge. 
Uh, although many people might say it's not the main event, and it should be the main event, but you see one of the two main events, two young guys, not with veterans around them, but two young guys, at the, they start at the same time in the business, fighting off against each other, that is freaking gold, that's something to be said. It goes to show you that not every young guy has to be associated with a veteran or a legend to stand out or to be over. That That's one thing I don't like about the Stodger of you, the Stodger is running out. Is that when you think that every veteran will raise the star's profile, it usually goes the opposite and not makes that much interesting. But, to my own money, I feel that, uh, you can, you can discuss for both that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins should win this match, uh, Seth Rollins being the money in the back war, and, and Dean Ambrose being, the, uh, wanting to have, um, a win over, but, uh, probably to even up things, just to make that a little bit more interesting, I would say that Dean Ambrose should win this match because Seth Rollins already has a couple of victories against Dean Ambrose and Dean Ambrose need a validation win in order to this rivalry to continue or maybe or order to gain some legs because this time Seth Rollins is going to be the one that's going to be pissed off. Um, anyway, having said that, or that could even push to another match where Seth Rollins could put his money in the bank on the line. Anyway, this is my prediction for the Magic Commissary Town in the South Damn it, damn it, all these budgets. Never mind. Uh, for Alan Soil 2014. Anyway, this has been the Wrestling Shuffler, your YWC magician, and this is my freaking psychic, my freaking psychic auntie, who's done nothing more than mocking me, and this has been the finale. Thank you very much for watching. If you feel strange, don't feel all that strange. Uh, for watching a creep like me waving his hand and whatnot, um, share your comments, your cards about this down below. If you like these kind of videos from me, I beg you, I plead, spread the word out, share my channel, share my vids. I love making these, but I would love it even more if I get some not the same momentum, but some kind of interaction more of a boost in my stuff, you know, just like many other YouTubers that uh, spare their spare time doing these type of videos out of love and out of some kind of reaction. This has been The Wrestling Shuffler. Uh, the next video I'm gonna doing probably is our Pictionary Rant. If you haven't seen those, I advise you to look at the first one. Um, and the next one will be... Um, uh, the sequel or the follow-up of the Magical Mystery pay-per-view predictions and that is the roll of the dice's pay-per-view predictions on a cell prediction. This has been the Wrestling Shuffle. I have been GB jagging all along. Sorry, okay, babe. And all I gotta say is, your next card game!